Have you ever imagined swimming over mountains? Not in a movie or a dream, but in real life? Well, it's actually possible, and all you need to do is head to China. In the modern world, this incredible feat is made possible by systems tied to dams and hydroelectric power stations. China is a global leader in hydroelectric power, accounting for about a third of the world's total. To put it in perspective, China generates 391 gigawatts of the 1,360 gigawatts produced globally. This is no small feat given the number of hydropower plants in the country, many of which are record-breaking. The Three Gorges Dam, for example, is the world's largest hydropower plant, boasting an installed capacity of 22.5 gigawatts. It's enormous in both size and annual generation capacity. The Baihetan Dam, though smaller than the Three Gorges, takes second place in the world's largest hydropower plants ranking. In fact, all five of the top positions are occupied by Chinese structures. So, in China, they've managed to make ships literally float over mountains. And today, you're about to find out how they accomplished this remarkable feat. Fiction is becoming reality, right near the Gupatan Dam in China's Guizhou province. Imagine a watercraft approaching a towering building along a canal, only to sail right inside. This building isn't just any structure, it's a massive lift system. Inside, there's a complex mechanism. A lifting cable. Two rows of drums and gearboxes on both sides. To some, this may seem slow and inefficient. But it's this very complexity that allows the system to raise or lower a 500-ton ship in about 10 minutes. The lift can handle vessels weighing up to 1,800 tons. Larger ships take longer to lift, but the journey is still fast. Considering the ship is raised to a stunning height of 236 feet, almost as tall as a 26-story building. Depending on the river current, the height can even reach 259 feet. That's an impressive feat by any standard. Which is why many call this system at the Gupatan Dam an engineering marvel. While ship lifts are not new, this one stands out with not just one but three lifts working in tandem. After the first lift, a second raises the vessel by an additional 417 feet. The system operates the same way. The ship enters, waits for the lift to engage, and then rises. Altogether, the ships in the Gupatan Dam system are raised a total of 653 feet. To put this in perspective, that's equivalent to the height of a 66-story building. If the Great Pyramid of Giza stood nearby, you could see it from above. The pyramid is 456 feet tall, while the Statue of Liberty at 305 feet is nowhere near this towering height. Once the ships are lifted, they still need to go down to reach the water behind the dam. To do this, a final lift at the end of the mountain navigation route lowers the vessel by up to 154 feet, depending on the water level. While the system may seem limited in throughput, with only one vessel passing at a time, it's designed to minimize delays. As soon as one vessel passes the first lift, another can immediately be raised. It's not perfect, but the engineers did everything they could to speed up the flow of traffic along this incredible route. Three lifts that make playing with height seem deceptively simple. It's a feat that showcases the brilliance of Chinese engineering. However, between these lifts, there lies a challenge that isn't often given much thought. Moving ships between heights, traditionally, involves locks. These locks allow vessels to gradually ascend or descend through various levels, eliminating the need for a complicated solution. Usually, all that's required are a few locks, and ships move up and down seamlessly. But in this case, the challenge is moving ships over mountains. Quite a different issue altogether. From the beginning, the river didn't have any lift system in place. So, besides building three gigantic lifts, the engineers had to find a way to bridge the gap between them. To connect the lifts, they needed a path, and this was no ordinary road. The solution? An open aqueduct. 
Aqueducts themselves aren't new. Ancient civilizations used them to move water over vast distances. However, the real challenge here was integrating such an ancient structure into the modern mountainous terrain, alongside the state-of-the-art lift system. And, as you might expect, the Chinese engineers accomplished this feat with remarkable skill. To build this connection, the engineers had to work with some serious terrain challenges. But China's expertise in large-scale tunnel construction came in handy. The country has become renowned for its mastery of tunnel boring machines, which made the task of cutting through the mountains feasible. The result? A 1.4 mile long waterway that runs between the two lifts and through the mountain itself. This engineering marvel didn't come cheap, of course. The total cost of this project came to a staggering $777.5 million. But despite the price tag, the system now allows ships to move through one of the most challenging regions imaginable. Where traditionally, navigating through such terrain would have been almost impossible. Without this lift system, each vessel would have had to face tremendous difficulty in crossing the mountains. The result is a smooth, efficient solution that revolutionizes the way goods can be transported across this rugged landscape. The creation of the Gupatan Dam, despite its smaller size and power capacity compared to giants like the Bihatan Dam, was a monumental investment for several reasons. While the dam itself may not stand out in terms of sheer scale or energy production, the incredible shipping system built alongside it makes the project truly unique. First and foremost, the Gupatan Dam was built in an area where traditional methods of shipping over mountainous terrain were not feasible. The region's topography, mountainous and rugged, created a natural barrier for water transport. Prior to this system, vessels would have had to navigate long treacherous routes, facing high risks and slow speeds. The development of the Gupatan Dam with its one-of-a-kind ship lift system was a game-changer for transportation in the region. By investing in this innovative technology, China found a way to make the difficult geography a strength rather than a limitation. In addition, the combination of the three lifts and the aqueduct system solved a unique problem. How to move large ships over mountains, across difficult terrain, and between different levels of the river. This wasn't just about building another hydroelectric plant. It was about creating a transportation corridor that could handle significant amounts of freight and ease the movement of goods over an otherwise impassable area. The system's benefits were enormous. It allowed for greater efficiency in shipping, drastically reducing the time and cost required for transportation. Unlike road or rail systems, which would have been expensive and dangerous to construct in such challenging terrain, the Gupatan Dam's lift system made use of the natural waterway. This not only improved shipping but also reduced reliance on land-based transport, which can be far more resource-intensive and hazardous. Particularly in mountainous regions, so, while the dam's energy production capacity might seem modest compared to other mega dams, the investment in the lift system made the entire project worthwhile. It turned the Gupatan Dam into more than just a hydroelectric facility. It became a key link in a modern transportation network that can benefit local economies and even the national infrastructure. The decision to build this system wasn't about making the dam the largest or most powerful, but about solving a real-world problem of navigating challenging geography and enhancing trade and commerce in the region. Reasons for Building The Gupatan Dam is located in China's Guizhou province, a region characterized by steep mountainous terrain. This geographic challenge made conventional transportation methods, like building a traditional lock system, impractical. The region's topography, predominantly made up of hills and valleys, is not suited for typical infrastructure, with 92.5% of the area being mountainous. This meant that constructing an effective transportation route for ships, especially given the extreme elevation differences, was a significant challenge. At the same time, the hydroelectric potential of Guizhou could not be ignored. The region's hydropower resources are vast. Ranking 6th in China, with a potential of 18,745 million kilowatts. The Gupatan Dam is part of this strategic push to harness renewable energy sources. 
contributing to a national program aimed at increasing the share of green energy in China's total energy mix by 2030, with significant progress expected by 2035. Hydroelectric power, being one of the most efficient and environmentally friendly sources of energy, has become a priority for Guizhou and other regions in China with similar geographical challenges. Given the region's abundant rivers and the need for energy generation, the construction of the Gupa Tan Dam was seen as an essential investment. Despite the considerable challenges posed by the terrain. In this context, the dam's three-lift system, though costly and complex, became the only viable solution to maintain water transport while also facilitating the use of the river for hydroelectric power generation. While alternative routes for shipping could have been considered, the need to utilize the region's rivers for both energy production and transportation necessitated the development of such an unconventional system. In the end, despite the high costs of construction, including the unique triple lift system and integration with the surrounding landscape, the Gupatan Dam represents a strategic and forward-thinking solution to harness the region's hydroelectric potential while accommodating the complex transportation needs of the area. This reflects China's broader vision of balancing energy sustainability with infrastructure development, using innovative technologies to solve problems created by challenging natural landscapes. The Wu River, a major tributary of the Yangtze River, is one of China's key waterways, and its importance cannot be overstated. The Yangtze is the longest and most water-rich river in Eurasia, covering a fifth of China's land area and supporting a third of its population. It's not just a vital watercourse for China. It also contributes significantly to the economy. With the Yangtze Delta accounting for up to 20% of the country's GDP. Given the river's central role in transportation, the regions connected to it, including the Guizhou province through the Wu River, are strategically important for both freight and passenger transport. For Guizhou, the challenge was connecting its remote mountainous terrain to the extensive Yangtze transport network. The Gupitan Hydro Power Plant, with its innovative shiplift system, serves a dual purpose, generating hydroelectric power while also enabling efficient transport. The system can handle 2.9 million tons of cargo annually making it an essential infrastructure for the region. While alternatives like freight trains and trucks exist, they aren't as efficient. A truck typically carries 22 to 25 tons of cargo, meaning it would take several trucks to match the capacity of a single ship lift. Additionally, mountainous roads in Guizhou make it impractical and hazardous to rely heavily on trucks, especially for transporting large quantities of goods. Water transport, however, offers significant advantages. Barges are not only more fuel efficient, but they also can carry far more cargo than trucks, and they can traverse the mountainous terrain much more easily. Rail transport, though better than trucks, still faces challenges in this rugged region and can't match the efficiency of ships. The Gupitan Dam lift system, while costly and complex, ultimately provides the most efficient solution for the region's transport needs. Despite the challenges posed by the mountainous terrain and the high costs of the lift system, the region's ability to move large volumes of goods efficiently through water transport makes it a model of innovation. In the end, the system demonstrates that navigating ships over mountains is not only possible, but also offers a practical, environmentally friendly alternative to road and rail transport. The Gupitan Dam lift system is a testament to China's ingenuity in overcoming geographical obstacles and integrating energy generation with transport needs. All while creating a breathtaking spectacle. A serious rival. The Three Gorges Dam, a true marvel of engineering, holds the record with a lift capable of raising an impressive 3,000 tons. Truly a massive achievement. Its lift system, though not a world record for height, is still an extraordinary feat. The lift features a pool approximately 400 feet long and 60 feet wide, holding an amount of water equivalent to four Olympic swimming pools. This massive pool has enough space to accommodate nearly any vessel up to the 3,000 ton limit. The lift raises such a heavy load to an astounding height of 371 feet. 
though it takes a slower 40 minutes to complete the task. Despite this, the scale of the operation should not be underestimated. China's engineers have made safety a priority. The lift's design includes four symmetrically arranged sets of drive mechanisms, gears and supports that firmly secure the vessel's chamber at four key points. This design eliminates the tilting or swaying of the vessel inside the chamber, significantly reducing the risk of overturning. Additionally, the system includes special protection mechanisms for emergencies, including earthquakes. Buffer and damping systems are integrated into the chamber to absorb shocks, ensuring that seismic forces are transmitted to the columns, preventing any potential accidents. Since its operation, the Three Gorges Dam's lift has had an undeniable impact. In the first half of 2023, the Three Gorges Navigation Company reported a throughput of 84.15 million tons, an impressive 9.32% increase compared to the previous year, marking a new historical high. Three Gorges Dam Locks Before the lift system at the Three Gorges Dam was constructed, ships traversed the dam via a multi-stage lock system, another feat of engineering in its own right. The system includes two sets of navigation locks, each with five stages, taking approximately four hours to pass through. The sheer time difference, 40 minutes versus four hours, played a significant role in China's decision to build a lift system, as reducing that transit time has far-reaching economic implications. After all, the Yangtze River is the country's primary waterway, and optimizing its use is crucial for both individual businesses and national growth. Each lock stage in the two-lane system measures 920 feet in length, 115 feet in width, and 16 feet in depth. The system is capable of handling vessels up to 10,000 tons, meaning it can accommodate nearly all river-based cargo and passenger ships. Despite the relatively long four-hour journey, the locks were essential for transporting goods. In 2022, the cargo turnover reached a staggering 159.65 million tons, far surpassing the original forecast of 100 million tons per year. This exceeded expectations and underscored the growing importance of efficient waterway transport in China's economic expansion. This unexpected growth likely played a role in justifying the creation of the dam's gigantic lift system, which promises to further boost efficiency and capacity. Scottish Miracle Now let's shift gears to Scotland, where an equally impressive engineering marvel exists. The Falkirk Wheel In 2002, this unique system was introduced to reconnect the Forth and Clyde and Union Canals, which had been without any direct connection, for nearly 70 years. Before the Falkirk Wheel, an 11-gate system was used, but it was dismantled long ago, leaving the canals disconnected. The initial concept for the Falkirk wheel was to build something resembling a giant Ferris wheel with four gondolas. While the idea was well received, it wasn't quite what British waterways envisioned. The final design drew inspiration from a Celtic axe, a ship's propeller, and even a whale's rib cage, resulting in a striking structure that stands 115 feet tall. Each of its two gondolas holds 300 tons of water, which means the wheel can move 600 tons of cargo with each lift. The wheel's most fascinating feature is its balance. Thanks to the displacement of water by the boats, the gondolas stay in equilibrium. This innovative design allows the wheel to use an impressively low amount of energy. In fact, it requires the same amount of energy to operate as boiling eight kettles of water. The Falkirk wheel stands as a one-of-a-kind structure, and it's a testament to the fact that incredible engineering feats aren't exclusive to China. They can happen anywhere.